a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. All right, Nick Kennedy here coming at you with another video on the four strategies for making your business more fun and more profitable. So business, sometimes we get into it and it gets stressful. We don't like it. We get burnt out and we decide that, you know what, maybe the grass is green around the other side. So what I want you to do is I'm going to talk about these four different strategies that will, you know, these are four of many different strategies, but these are four good ones for you for making your business more fun and profitable. Number one, you got to stop focusing on your weaknesses. You ever hear someone says, hey, make those better? Or as entrepreneurs, a type personality, sometimes what we want to do is, is for some reason make our weaknesses good. And that's not always the best thing to do. Sometimes you just have to admit that some things that you do suck. Then you're not good at it. It's okay. It doesn't make you less of an entrepreneur or a business person or person in general. It just means that you're willing to admit that you're not good at something and you're going to go hire someone to help you do it. That right there is going to make your business more fun and in turn will make your business more profitable because you're going to free up your time and make more money. Because think about it, when you're doing something that's a weakness that you're not very good at, what's the last thing to get done in the day? That work. What's the thing that takes your most brain power and activity to try and figure it out? that as well. So that's something you don't want to mess with. So it's going to free up your time. And because you can take that brain capacity and power and everything, put it into something else, it's going to help you make more money doing activities that you're more suited for. A second thing that you can do right now is don't work for the same dollar twice. So if you generate a profit and find ways to actually invest that profit that you make your money. So this is gonna help you make more money. So a lot of times what happens is businesses make money, then they start, you, you make money, then you spend more money, then you make money, you spend more money, and they start reinvest. And now not all investments are equal, right? So a lot of people say, I reinvest in my business. How do I know? Because I've said that all the time, where I'm like, oh, I'm only investing back in my business. Sometimes I invest back in the business, but it was the wrong things and it did not produce revenue. And I ended up working for that same dollar twice. So some things that you can do, Take a percentage of your profits that you make, that in the dollars that you earn, put it into stocks, put it into crypto, put it into econ partnerships, put it into real estate, things that start producing cash flow and long-term wealth for you and more holding pieces for you. So that is another way that you can do it. Now, here's another one, third one. Stop grinding every day. Stop grinding, hustling, balling out all day and start leading. So my business changed when I stopped being in the weeds, right? I, I used to get in the weeds and create, sometimes I'd almost like want the fire to happen so I could get in and, and put it out because it made me feel more important in my business. It made me feel like, oh wow, you know what? This can't this business can't grow without me, you know, it needs me. And you don't get in business to, you know, to to only let it grow. You, most people get in business because they want the business to grow without them. They get in for the lifestyle. They want to be free to lead. They want to be free to live. But when you're in the weeds all the time and you're grinding all the time, you're not doing that. You're just putting yourself in a position that's causing you to work more and more and more. Then you become very, very disgruntled. Then you start thinking the grass is greener on the other side. Business isn't fun and your money is not where it needs to be. So what you should be focusing on instead of the grind, grow your vision. Coach great people that fill those positions for you that, that allow you to be more innovative with the company. So what you want to do is grow your vision and innovate. And the way that you do that is you coach great people. You find great people and you coach them up and you lead them because they're always going to do a much better job than you can if you have them doing the right stuff. So that's one way that you can make that happen. Now here's the fourth one. Pay yourself wisely. So don't do seven jobs and pay yourself for one. I've seen a lot of times where businesses start growing and the entrepreneur and the business owner is doing all these different jobs and then they're paying themselves a pittance, you know, just pennies on the dollar for the work that they're doing. Whereas what we started doing, and there's a huge shift for us, is build a business if you have those team members already. So when you hire out the position, you already have it. Now, here's what that means. If you're doing sales, pay yourself the sales commission that you would normally pay a salesperson. If you're doing all the media buying, create a salary for that media buying position. 
Now you can adjust it based on other things and then also pay yourself, if you're the CEO, pay yourself the CEO salary. So if you have these multiple positions that you're operating on a day-to-day -day basis, which a lot of entrepreneurs do in the very beginning is they, they kind of do all the roles, right? Until they start growing. So when you're running all those roles, put a salary in place for those positions and, and itemize it out. Yeah, you may only take one payment, but itemize out what each one is for. It'll mentally help you. You won't feel overworked and underpaid as you go further uh, and grow your business. And then also when you put someone in place for that position, you've already got it earmarked for them to be able to take that over. So it won't feel like you're, a lot of times when you start hiring people, a lot of entrepreneurs feel like they it's an expense but it's really not, it's an investment in people. So that's one thing you gotta look at. And this th this process I just outlined for you, paying yourself wisely, helps with that. All right, hey, if this video is of value to you, guess how we guess how we grow? Your likes, your comments, and your shares. Going forward, we appreciate it. If you would go ahead and, and do one of those for us right now, thank you very much, have a good one.